Welcome back to Just Scribble. I am here to unbox my first ever cover from Hand Stitched Leather Tea. If you have seen her covers, they look just amazing and gorgeous in all of the photos and videos, but they're a little harder to snag because her Etsy shop only opens for limited periods of time and as soon as she sells out of her items, that's it. But in January, I was able to snag a B6 cover from her and so it came today from the Ukraine and I am just super excited to see it. I hope that I love it as much as I think I'm going to. So I'm going to unbox it real quick and we're going to see how my planner fits in it. She put some in these ziplocs which is so nice so they don't get wet. And then it's tied with a little bow and it has her logo here stamped on the tissue paper. I'm gonna unwrap it. I'm gonna have to keep that for some junk journaling. Let me tear this off real quick so that you guys don't have to listen to the noise. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's start with this. It's a little piece of foam. She sends, from what I've seen, she sends a little free gift with everyone's purchase. And this one is a key ring holder. So your keys fit on that, and then they kind of tuck inside there. It has her logo um, stamped on it. And this one is awesome, guys. Y'all know I love a scar or markings, and it has scars, even this deep one. It is gorgeous and it is so soft. She wrote a little thank you note on the back and then this is her card with her Etsy shop there. Very nice. But this is the cover and I am, I am so excited. So this cover is for B6 Dology. That's what it's designed for. And she has several, y'all can just um, ignore me while I rub on it and love on it while I talk. She has several options available. So you can get a snap closure, you can get no closure, you can get an elastic closure, or you can get a tab closure, which is similar to this, but longer, but it slips through a little piece of leather, kind of like you're putting on a belt. She has a front pocket option that's kind of high in my opinion um, on photos and videos I've seen. It comes up, I think about to right there. So she has a front pocket option, but you can't get that if you are using the snap closure. And she has a back pocket, which is what I got. And look, it has a scar. And then inside it looks like this. So it has three card pockets. And then it has the slip pocket to slip your Stalogy in and then a little secretarial pocket here. And her branding is on there instead of on the back. And it is hand stitched by her. Can y'all see like the gorgeous hand stitching? It is so, 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 so yummy. So I got the light tobacco color. This is really my wheelhouse of colors. She has a darker kind of mahogany color, which I also think is really pretty, but this is kind of the, the color that I gravitate towards. Just for comparison, these are three different buttered rums from Chic Sparrow in different levels of patina and aging. And you can see that it's kind of a similar tone, but not if that makes sense like these are a little peachier and this is a little beiger or browner i guess and it is soft and thin let's see so this is my buttered rum so it is thinner than my buttered rum and this is a tea house from chic sparrow which is thinner a thinner veg tan leather. So it's about the same thickness as the tea house, but it is softer. Not a lot, but it but it is softer than the tea house leather. It reminds me a lot, actually, this is a patina 
from Chic Sparrow that is a retired leather. It reminds me a lot of the softness of this. It's just a smidge thinner. So that's kind of a comparison of the leather. So let me talk to you. Oh, and there's a pen loop. You can add a pen loop if you want. And so I opted to get a pen loop. So the reason that I got the snap closure on it was because I wanted to try out, you know, a planner cover with a snap closure. I had de-ringed my Malden that I bought on a buy sell trade group and I had used that for a bit and I actually really liked the closure and the size and the fit, but the leather isn't as nice. So I opted for the snap closure. It also makes this different than any of my other notebook covers that I have from Chic Sparrow or Sojourner, which is the primary two companies that I buy from. I also opted not to get the front pocket, partly because I chose the snap closure, but partly because the front pocket was so very tall. I didn't see it being super useful for decorating, and that's really what I use front pockets for the most. They are functional, you can stick stuff down in them, and sometimes I do stick papers down in them, but I don't like sticking pens in them. A lot of people do. I don't, it stretches the leather out some and it bothers me. So I don't use them for that. And so it was so tall, I decided that that wouldn't be very useful to me. And also almost all of my Sojourners have front pockets. And so that is something I equate with her brand and her style. And so I didn't want that design feature on this. I wanted to kind of keep it separate. So my Sparrows don't have front pockets, my Sojourners do have front pockets, and my hand stitched leather tee will not. But I did get the back pocket for a couple of reasons. One, because it just looks really cool. I mean, it makes it super unique and different. It gives me the place to stick papers, which is the functional piece of a front pocket that I use. And it made it specific to her design aesthetic because no other makers that I buy from make a back pocket like this. So if I have loose papers that I need for my personal planner or just don't wanna lose, I can stick them back there and they stay with my planner and they're not loose inside. So I thought that was a nice option. Y'all, this is so soft. I can't even, I can't even tell you. Like, can you see? It's, it's not floppy. It's hard to explain. It's not floppy like a rustic Kodiak or something like that, like the Waypoint leather, but it is so, so, so soft and it is going to develop a gorgeous patina. So I opted for the pen loop because I like a pen loop. I like to be able to keep a pen permanently with my planner all the time. That way, no matter where I am, I can jot things down if I want to. I opt for the snap closure to make it unique and there's just something like you listen to other people open their planners like especially ring planner people that noise when they pop open their snap closure and it just sounds so cool so i decided to get that and then i got the back pocket to make it unique so it is designed to fit my stylogy this is my personal planner if you haven't seen my 2020 planner set up in it i will link a video i'm going to see if it will fit my Stylogy with my jelly cover. If you guys haven't seen that, I have a video sharing my jelly cover. It is from Cat Espresso, and I am so, so, so in love with it. I'm so glad I bought it. I feel like my planner's so pretty, like Dakshina's, like it's just so pretty and sparkly. I love it. So it does fit with my jelly cover, and then it will snap closed. And I have actually room to grow. So as this expands, I have plenty of room for that. I have tabs in my planner across the top. If you can see that, they don't stick out. Right now I have a little bookmark in there from Catspresso. It doesn't stick out. I have tabs here and they're not sticking out from the side. The front, um, because it's a little bit big right now, it will wiggle and I can actually get the front of the Stylogy to stick out, but that's just because it's not full yet. And I don't have a pen in there yet, let's see. Let's let's stick a pen. We'll just stick a mild liner for now. So the pen loop is big. I could put a mild liner and a jelly roll pen, I think. I could put both pens in there, 
which is actually kind of nice because I do keep a mild liner for the week with my planner and a black pen. And so I could actually fit both if I wasn't using a fountain pen, but it's large enough that I can fit a fountain pen. It is kind of, to me, oddly placed. I would actually prefer the pen loop to be a little bit higher up just because then I can hold it with my pen clips because if I put a fountain pen in here, let me grab one and show you guys. So this is my Opus 88 Picnic. I can put it in here and it's it's gonna stay just fine without the pen clip. But if I were to want to put the pen clip on it and push it down, then the pen is gonna stick out the bottom. Let me show you. See, it's gonna start sticking out. But some pen clips, like I have a, a pen called Pure Malt. It is not a fountain pen, it is a, I guess it's a gel pen. The pen clip scratches everything that it goes on. So this will actually prevent that from happening. But there's enough room for my Picnic, which is actually a bigger pen. So the pen fits in there nicely. It tucks next to my book. It's not messing with my tabs. So I don't mind the pen loop placement. It's just, I have, prefer it just slightly higher in general, but it doesn't bother me. There is space over here where I can stick my son's B6 Slim Notebook that I keep for school, that I keep with my planner. So I can stick that back there and I can decorate my card pockets or stick in something that I need with me. It fits business cards. It appears that, let's see, yeah. So this pocket is wider than those pockets. So if a credit card or something, if I needed to have a card with me for some reason, if they didn't fit on this one, it would fit in this one. But this one fits business cards just fine, so it should fit a credit card, but I don't generally carry a credit card with me in my planner. I don't like my wallet and my planner combined. I actually tried that for quite some time, and it honestly made me so nervous because I will leave my planner setting out. I At work, I will leave it sitting on my desk, open to the week so that I can plan or make notes as I need. I will leave it sitting out at a restaurant on the table so that I can jot things down or check things when I'm talking to my husband or my sister or whomever. And so it's out all the time and I don't like having my ID and my credit cards and my cash sitting with it. I like to have my wallet on my person or in my bag where it's safe and protected. And so I don't keep my cards and things in there. I do keep money um, oftentimes in my planner, but I usually just stick it back behind an insert just to have some mad money back there. But that is my hand-stitched leather tee, and I am so excited. She is based in the Ukraine, and it did not take very long to get here, actually. I'd have to double-check the exact timeline of when it shipped to when I received it, but I'll put that in the description box down below just so you can have an idea of the date I ordered, the date it shipped, and the dates it's received in case you were looking to buy one and you wanted to kind of know how soon it would get to you. It feels so good. It is what I was liking about having it and the file effects with the snap closure and it fits so nicely over here and it just feels so good in my hand and it is full grain leather and it smells so good and I love this back pocket so much I'm just so excited I'm so excited guys so this is my first ever hand stitched leather tee I don't think this will be my last I may actually get something in another size just to have because I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to see how it changes as I use it and fill it up. I will get it decorated, my little pockets, and I will definitely be sharing it on Instagram soon so you guys can see what it looks like with things in the pocket. But I think it is gorgeous and functional and it's just lovely highly recommend. I will post links to her shop down below. If you guys have any questions about the leather or the shop or the process, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will get back with you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos that I have planned in the coming weeks, months, and year. And don't forget to just scribble.